Hey guys, um, happy Monday. Today we're going to be learning another strategy to help us with subtracting tens. So, so far we have used um, a hundreds chart, we've used open number line, and we have used place value blocks. So today our strategy is going to be addition. Um, so we're going to be using addition to help us subtract. And if you have already done your solve and share and your visual learning bridge, you have noticed that this lesson talks about something that we've kind of already looked at. And it looks just like this. And what is this, guys? Yep, it's an open number line. The reason this is an open number line is because currently there are no numbers on it so we're gonna have to put the numbers on it ourselves um, so before we get started let's go over our I can statement I can use addition to subtract tens okay so that's that's what we're going to be doing we're going to use addition and it's going to help us to subtract so in your visual learning bridge it gives you an example of 70 subtract 50 now, we talked about in our lesson on Friday, when you subtract a number line, you work backwards. Okay, when we are adding, we're going to work just how we would if we were, um, if we were using a regular number line. So we're going to start with what we know. So I know the number 50, so I'm going to start with 50. Now here's where, here's where it's different than just using a number line as is. I know one of my add-ins, which is 50, but this other one, I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know. But I do know that I have to end up at 70. So I can go ahead and on that other side of my number line, I can go ahead and put 70. And now starting at 50, I'm going to jump by tens until I reach 70. So if I jump by tens, the next 10 after 50 would be 60, and if I jump again, after 60, I would be at 70. So then you have to think about, this jump, this big jump, was not 1, it was jumping 10. And this big jump wasn't jumping by 1, it was jumping by 10. So 50 plus 10, 20 got me to 70. So to solve our problem, 50 plus 20 equals 70. Now if we want to think about that as an addition or as a subtraction problem, I'm sorry, all you would do is look at it like this. 70 subtract 50 equals 20. Okay? Remember these are a fact family. So we can use these three numbers and we can do a subtraction problem and an addition problem as long as we have them in the right order. Alright, let's look at another one. So I'm going to be looking at number one on your paper now. Um, and if you don't have the paper, you'll need to either print the PDF off or just look at it and write it down on a on piece of paper. That's fine with me. Okay, so number one says... 40 plus blank equals 80. And then it, the, the last part says, so 80 subtract blank equals 40. Now, the same number is going to fill in both of these spots, but we're going to have to figure out what that number is. And to do that, we're going to start with the number line. Okay? So, I've got two numbers that I know of, and my larger number is where I have to end up at. So 80, I can go ahead and put my 80 over here, and I'm going to start at 40. Now remember, I'm going to jump by 10s until I get to 80, okay? So 40, if I jump 10, that would be 50, 10 more would be 60, 10 more is 70 and 10 more would give me 80. So then I have to go back. That was plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, and plus 10. 
So then we have to think 40 plus 10, 20, 30, 40 would give me 80. So 80 subtract 40 equals 40. Okay? So really, you're, you're starting at this number over here, and you're seeing how many tens it's going to take to get to that other number. And when you're looking at an addition problem, you're starting at the add-in that, that it's given you. So it gave us 40 as our add-in, and it gave us the sum of 80. So we know we had to get to 80, and we knew that 80 was going to be our largest number. So that's how we knew when to stop. Okay, if we look at number two, number two says 30 plus blank equals 90. Um, and then it says so 90 subtract 30 equals blank. So now, let me draw us a number line and we'll get started on this one. Okay, first we're going to start with our add-in. So we're going to start at 30, that's where we're going to start. And just because you have a number line doesn't mean it has to start at zero. If you don't need, it, if you don't need to go all the way to zero, that's fine. You can start with 30. And then I need to end up at my sum which is 90, and now all I have to do is fill in the numbers in the middle between 30 and 90. So remember, we're jumping by tens, so that would be 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Good. Okay, now we go and we fill in our plus tens. And then we count and see how many big jumps we had. So this would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 jumps. So 30 plus 60 gave me 90. So 90 subtract 30 would equal 60. Okay. All right. So numbers three, four, five, and six on the independent practice are just like this. They've given you a number line for numbers three and four. Um, for numbers five and six, they haven't. So you may have to draw one. Or remember how I said to get that shoestring to help you out and do your jumps. You may do that. So let's do. For independent practice, let's do numbers three, four, five, six, seven, and ten. Okay? So you're going to do all of these, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 10. And then once those are finished, you're just going to have your parents send me a copy of it so I know that you've done it. And then make sure you do the quick check, okay? If you guys have any problems or you need anything, just let me know. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.